Last time on Babs Bear Talk. <laughs> Recording okay. And here's the birthday boy. Here's the birthday grandma, the birthday boy's grandma. So here I am thinking that I'm gonna um, have time to goof off in the office while Joe sets up for the bottles that we just got yesterday. And then he just rudely informed me that the machine is set up on that guy's bottles because the last time we ran this big machine was on his bottle. So we have to start working right away. But that's okay because that means we'll get out of the heat, you know? It's um, 13 cases, 13 cases times 240, two colors. Good morning, Joe. Jose, mm -hmm. I'm speaking to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all you want to say? Okay, so we still haven't heard anything about the um, contest yet. So I'm taking a poll. Joe, do you think they'll pick me as one of the finalists? Yep. Why? Yeah. Tell me why. Because you're cute. <laughs> cute has nothing to do with it. <laughs> it is Wednesday, September the 7th. Yeah, the 7th. Um, I still haven't heard anything yet about the contest. I don't know how they're going to contact their finalists, if it's going to be email or if it's going to be a phone call or if they're just going to announce it on the channel. And nothing happened so far today with the announcements. So I don't know if you guys know what's going on in YouTube, right? So YouTube started to implement some policies that I think they've always had, but never enforced. So basically, everyone can still have their YouTube channels but there are certain things you're not allowed to speak about or else you won't get paid. So you can still make your videos, you just won't get paid. And even if the video was up already, they'll go and take the monetization off of the video. So I would say maybe like four months ago, YouTube took the monetization off of my video where I was talking about how to cure your acid reflux using the honey. So that video was making about 10 or $15 a month for me. And they just took the money down. So I didn't know why they took the money down. So I called and asked them. And they were like, we can't monetize that because our sponsors don't want us to put their ads at that video. Well, of course, their sponsors don't want to put the ads at that video because they're uh, promoting Prilosec and all the other stuff that supposedly, you know, takes care of heartburn when it doesn't. It, it makes you sicker because it takes your acid down so low that then you have the reverse, which is too low of an acid. And that's what I have right now. So anyways, I found out that even though they weren't paying me for the video, they were still running ads because my sister went to go watch because I have ad blocker to protect myself from watching my own ads. So I took that video down, you know, and some people might say, well, you're not really doing it to help the people. Well, anything that you do in life, you want to help. Yeah, but you want to get paid. So I don't think it was fair that they did that, so I took it down. So a lot of my big YouTubers that I watch, like Young Turks and Lovely TI and all these people, they got money taken down off of their videos. And that really sucks because this is how these people make their income. You guys know that I don't make my income off of YouTube because the little 208 to 225 that I get paid to do the YouTube channel, Oz is watching me, and um, the one something that I get from the review channel is not enough to pay any bills more than a light bill. And maybe buy back some foods to do the show so i this is not my income this shop is my income so um but whenever you move to the realm in youtube where you can quit your real job and do youtube as a job a lot of your subscriber base leaves you and they get mad at you and they start attacking you because they feel like you are getting an easy job youtube is not an easy job not only do you have to record all day long and edit all day long i never really have time off right joe tell your side of the story joe do I really have any time to spend with you by the time I'm done, like in there editing and stuff? Uh, Up to like 11 at night, I'm editing, right? Yep. But you never complain because you know I'm trying to live out this dream. Mm -hmm. But for a lot of YouTubers, they're single moms and stuff like that. And they can't, they can't do this. So I think it's unfair for YouTube to do that. Um, the people that cuss, like for instance, Auntie Fee, I'm sure she got money taken off of every last one of her videos. So maybe she won't be putting up videos, you know, pretty soon. And so there are a lot of people, there are a lot of people that build their channel off of cussing. And if you don't like it, don't watch it. You know, so for the sponsors to say, well, we won't sponsor that. What happens to maybe the alcohol people? Maybe they might want to sponsor the cussing channels, you know? 
I'm gonna go and rest for a little bit while Joe makes this ink because when we start, I'm gonna be standing for hours. So let me go back in the office. all the models I have I have a mint in my mouth so we're leaving right now to go to Costco to get some groceries it's Thursday September the 8th today would have been my grandpa's birthday had he been alive he would have been very old though because he died at age 69 and um, he's been dead for 30 years my god it's been 30 years Joe he died the year Joe and I got married oh, here in 86 uh -huh. yeah yeah uh, he died at 69, my grandma died at 70. A lot of other family members died at 69, but then again, some of them died like 98, 110, you know, so I guess it's the luck of the draw. Anyways, I'm getting kind of flustered about this contest that I'm in for dream jobbing, home, fa home and family, yada yada, because they're not telling us what round two consists of. And all of a sudden, yesterday, I see a sign pop up at the dream jobbing site and it says round two, 12 days left. But yet on the left hand side of the screen it says applications are closed finalists to be decided by uh, home and family stay tuned now today that 12 days has gone down by one and it says 11 days left and i looked at the contestant that was coming in fourth the one behind me she went from 202 to 210. i'm like how did she do that are we voting again so i went from 232 to 233 it was locked off at 2.32. I wrote this stuff down, guys. But that lady went up and mine went up. The one that came in second, hers did not move. The one that came in first, hers did not move. And after that, I'm not quite sure because I have it written down at home. So I really don't know what's going on. So Jada tried to log in to her account to see if she could vote again. She couldn't even log in. It's like it keeps saying the password's wrong, whatever. She couldn't log in. So I logged in to one of my to cousin Cindy's account because she gave me all the info to log in because she's at work and I tried to like the application from her account and it says um, you have already liked this contestants um, application and you can only like once but if you want to keep supporting her just write a comment so we don't know what it means so Jada says she's gonna go to another one of her friends and ask them to make up an account you know one who has not voted yet and go try to like it and see if they're accepting more likes. They may not be accepting more submissions, but more likes. And if that's the case, what am I going to do? I've already tapped into everybody <laughs> that I know. I can't tell you how many friends and family members that came to me and said, this is something that I really wanted to help you with, but I just simply could not help you because this site asks for too much information. I'm like, are you kidding me? For real though? What, what's too much? Your email, your phone number, and your birthday. And if you didn't want to put your real birthday, put a different birthday. Change a year, change a month, change a day, change something about the birthday. If you're afraid of being hacked. You know, so it's like, those people who came to me and told me that they just didn't really want to help. And I'm not even mad at them. Honestly, if it was not meant for you to help me, then you didn't help me. I believe in sowing and reaping. And I believe that it goes for both ways it goes for good and for bad and you reap what you sow so if they didn't sow into my life they're not gonna get a harvest from what they should have sowed into you guys that sowed into my life though are gonna receive a harvest from God it may not be from me it's gonna come from God you know so that doesn't bother me who didn't vote or whatever it's like just move on.com so 
Jada's gonna get back with me to see if that new, if she's calling up a, a friend of hers to see if that new account can still vote. And then when I know more, I'm gonna create a video for the cooking channel to update you guys on what's going on because I know a lot of people probably feel left out because they're like, well, we went and voted for you and now you're not telling us anything. Well, I don't know anything. They're not telling us anything. And I looked up the way they did their DIY contest a few months ago because I guess that was the first contest that they ran for this type of thing. And apparently they were supposed to pick five finalists at the end of the wrong one. But they ended up picking 25. And what they did so now one of the people who didn't win was the one writing this blog, right? And what they did was they featured five... Ah! Ah! You can't go there and you're just like up this one's butt, Joe. So they featured five of... I hate when Joe does that. They feature five contestants every week, one a day, for five weeks. And if you were not going to be the, one of the 25 featured, you didn't know nothing for five weeks. You just kind of put on the TV every day and hope that your video pop up. And at the end of the five weeks, I guess this girl figured out she wasn't in it. So she wrote the blog. She says, I just wish they would have come and told us we weren't in it. And they featured the videos. And then at the end of each week, based on Facebook likes and what the producers wanted, they would pick one contestant each of the five weeks and then at the end of the five weeks they would put the five people together on the show to compete against each other and i'm like man i hope they don't do that this time around because i'm tapped out i'm tapped out of people that's gonna want to help me do this you know some people even got annoyed it's kind of like you're bugging i'm like it's a job I can't tell you how many people have gone out for jobs and used me as a business reference or a personal reference and I'm always there to answer the phone and give the people a good report on that person. I, I've helped so many people get jobs. I've sowed that seed. So that's why 233 of you, no it's 233, have come back and sowed that seed with me. Because I've put that out there in the atmosphere. Even if you don't believe in God, you must believe in whatever you put out you're going to get back karma you know <laughs> so i'll let you guys know more when i know more i'm just waiting for jada to come back with this report about you know if you can create a new account i wouldn't ask you guys to go create a new account though i would just ask you to ask a friend if that's the case you know so anyways off to costco i'm gonna buy a bunch of fruits today a bunch of vegetables i'm really holding on to my diet that i'm trying to do because i don't want to go there and my belly is in three sections and Plus, I want to start seeing some results of all this gym going. I've been going to the gym and I feel stronger and I feel healthier, but I want to start slimming down to where when I walk into the gym, people can say, oh my God, it's working. Like for Joe, they, they keep telling him, that, oh my God, you look so good, it's working. <laughs> the people who watched the video that I uploaded last night, they're like, they're liking your personality. <laughs> they're finally seeing what I've known for 32, 32 years. You got a nice personality. Ah. All right, guys. So Leah went and read the rules and regs because when I first entered the contest, the rules and regs did say there would be a, um, a round two and that you're supposed to get more likes and they'll tally the likes together from round one and round two. But they never made that announcement and they didn't say when it would start. And um they for the dates they had na and na not applicable and not applicable so I, i'm gonna go home right now and read that part to see i know it started yesterday but it probably is gonna end um you know 11 days from now whatever date that is and i want to give the date and everything and i have to quickly go make a video to update you guys at the cooking channel and i'll probably make one for the vlog and just say hey go get anybody that you can get to go vote for me so you guys will see this vlog after i make that video but i gotta run home now and quickly make a video because i want to get more likes in round two i don't want to be left behind in the dust you know that tammy lady behind me already gained eight likes so i think some of these people enter contests to win contests you know this is my first time entering a contest and i don't i'm not savvy about it so i'm glad i have people in my corner that's helping me out so i can't wait to get home it's friday september the 9th tomorrow is september the 10th that's a big celebration for us in Belize. It's um, the Battle of Old St. George's Key. You guys can Google that and see what all happened. So that's the last time the Spaniards came to Belize and tried to take over and they lost. But I want to show you this. 
see this pot it's time to get rid of it because all this stuff is chipping I think we're eating all that crap right there so you guys are hanging with me today because I'm cooking over here can you see can you see yeah I'm cooking my favorite thing that that sister from the church came and taught me how to make with the okra and the corn Onions. I put a whole bunch of stuff in there now that she never put originally. And I do it with white rice. My dad's been reading some reports about how bad brown rice is for you. I don't even know what all he's read, but it's something what, that they do with the outer shell and uh, I don't know what all. But I'm glad when he told me that because I hate brown rice. I don't mind the taste of brown rice. I have gotten used to it because they said it was healthy. But it never fails. Every time I eat brown rice, I get so constipated, I just want to die. So I haven't eaten brown rice in a while. Anything that I eat that makes me feel so sick and constipated, I don't eat oatmeal again. I don't eat that. So, and they say those things are supposed to be good for you. But remember when we did wheat belly? That one doctor says all those things are bad for you so i really don't even know what's good from what's bad but if i eat a meal and i feel healthy like when i eat this i feel light i feel like i can exercise i've got some energy and i feel like i can um you know like achieve anything in life <laughs> it is 11 27. you guys want to know how i get my curls like this i'm gonna have to put this in one of the wednesday videos to show how i get my curls it's not with a curling iron i can't use a curling iron for beans because i burn myself and the curls come out all wonky. This is heatless curls, and I'll put this in one of the Wednesday videos. Maybe not this Wednesday coming, because I don't want to sleep in pain again <laughs> another night. So I want to tell you this little story about this um, planter bucket that my dad gave Joe. So a while back, my dad was giving Joe like a sprig of um, fever grass. I think he might have brought back the, the grass or the seed when we went to uncle's funeral in March. And so Joe's like, I don't have a bucket to plant it in though. I'm going to have to go to Home Depot and buy a bucket. So don't give it to me yet. And so my dad's like, no, no, no. Take one of these empty buckets right here. So Joe brought the bucket home. You know how those buckets from the store has the holes on the bottom, right? And he washed out the dirt that was in there. He put his own dirt and he put the fever grass, everything. Fast forward to this week, two days ago. We were leaving to go to work. And we turned around and we saw this beautiful tree coming up where Joe washed the dirt out of the bucket. So apparently, Daddy was trying to grow um, some uh, soursop tree from the seeds, but it wasn't catching. It just would not take off for him. So I guess he abandoned it, gave Joe the empty bucket. The seeds were in there, and it went into good ground, and it's coming up. So when I called him to tell him, you think that man was excited for me? He was like, you need to transplant it now because September is the month of planting, blah, 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 sowing seeds, yada, yada. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. So he called up my sister and was like, how do you like this? I gave them my empty bucket and they got a tree from it. I'm like, that's how it works sometimes. You, will, you sow a seed with somebody and a harvest comes back to you from some other means. That's what the church tries to preach about, but sometimes they want too much money. Sometimes a seed is not money. Sometimes a seed is actually a seed that you plant in the ground, like an apple tree or something. Sometimes a seed is a smile. Sometimes it's a listening ear. I can't tell you how many times I've sown the seed of a listening ear into somebody else's problems and not say a word to help them correct the problem because they don't want to hear a word to correct it. They just want you to listen. And likewise, people have listened to me. So that's a seed. You know what I mean? And so I was telling the pastor at the morning manna this morning about this ordeal. And I said, you know what he heard out of it? September is the time to plant seeds. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, pastor, I ain't got no money. I can't plant no seeds today. Okay. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm doing all this show right now. And, um, uh, getting hungry. Let me go eat my watermelon and then I'll be back. All right, guys. So it's Saturday afternoon. 4.30. Joe and I did a show today for the Wednesday show and it was a competition type show. So we're waiting to like see the finished product and then decide who's the winner. Let me tell you guys, Joe is cheating every step of the way. He's finding all these excuses why I put him at a disadvantage. I did not know this man was so competitive because we've never competed for anything or in anything. Okay. So to me, both the products look beautiful. 
He started off kind of rough. He said, I sabotaged him. You guys know me. I would never sabotage this man. So <laughs> in a little while, we're going to cut it, cut the items, finish up the show. I'm getting tired though, because we started the show. Joe, when did we start the show? Like noon? Joe? We started like at noon, right? Yeah, we started like at noon, so it's been four hours. Anyways. I'm still in the contest. I'm at 263 likes. The lady behind me has 224. Please don't take this lady for granted, okay? She can come up with some likes out of nowhere. The one that's directly in front of me is stuck at 271, but I wouldn't put anything past her moving. But right now, I'm trying to put space between me and the fourth place, and then probably um, pass down the second place person. I will never pass on the first place person because I don't know what she's doing to get the likes that she's getting, okay? And I'm not trying to imply anything, but how can you go to 400 and something likes when everybody else was struggling at 80, then 100, then 120, then, you know, and struggle, struggle to, to get to 200. And then you are stuck at 472 for 12 days, and then you go to 474, and then all of a sudden in 24 hours, you're at 565. Just saying. I don't understand what's going on with that, so I'm not even having my sights on her. Let her do what she's going to do, and all I'm going to do is try to put space between me and the fourth place person and pass down the second place person. The 18th can't come quick enough for me because I'm running out of people to annoy, okay? People think I'm being a nuisance when it comes to this thing, so I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> when the red button is on? Yeah. Okay. I'm doing it. Freddy. He doesn't want to go back on the boat. Splash. Splash? Yeah. 